talk about today, we're going to talk about uh, another odd time signature, and it's called 5858. Five, That's five beats in a measure. Each eighth note receives one beat. We count it as one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Doesn't make it very easy to dance to. Um, and there's not a lot of songs uh, out there that are in 5 8. Uh, there, of course, there's a lot of progressive fusion and progressive metal uh, that has that time signature. The most famous tune is probably Take 5 uh, by Brubeck. And uh, that's probably the most famous song that's in 5. If you don't know it, you probably do know it. You just don't, don't know what it's called. Um, but I'm sure you've heard it before. Um, so, anyway. So 5-8. Now there's an easy way to count 5-8, just like in 7-8 when you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you can count it as 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. In 5-8, instead of thinking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can also think of it as 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So let's play something. So all drummers, I think, should know uh, a little bit about odd time signatures, and it's just because we're the timekeepers, and it's almost our duty to know and to be familiar with odd time signatures beyond 4-4, four, 6-8, four, 12-8, and uh, all the even number uh, signatures. So what we're going to do, we're going to start out easy. I'm going to just play a quick, uh, slow 5-8 groove, and uh, then I'm going to break it down a little bit. So we got kick and hat on one and three, and we have the snare on two, four, and five. So we're going to count it as one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Can't really dance to it, but it's fun to play. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to roll the click, and uh, I'm going to make this a quick lesson today. Um, we're going to roll the click, click's going to be in five. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to play that groove, okay? Here we go. jamming. Um, now, just like in 7, what we can do, there's another anomaly that we have with 5, 8. And that's, I can play in 4, 4, 4 over 8. I'll play a 4, 4 time signature over in 5, 8 time signature. And what's going to happen is, I can play 4, 4 five times. And on the sixth time, or the first time, if you think about it, it's going to come back on the downbeat. And I'm going to show you this again. And it works with seven, it also works with five. Check this out. I'm going to play five, four, four over five. Two, three, four, five. There's a downbeat right there. How about six, eight over five? I'm going to play six, eight, five times. It's going to land on the downbeat on the sixth time. Two, three, four, five. Right there. So 
So that's uh, one of those really weird anomalies uh, that you have in music. And uh, I think it's interesting. You might think it's stupid or boring, but I don't. Anyway, so work on these 5-8 grooves and uh, go over to my uh, other video that has 7 eights called All About the 7. And uh, maybe you can combine them. You can actually combine 5 and 7 or 7 and 5 and get a cool 12-8 measure, but it doesn't sound like 12-8. So it would sound like this. A normal 12-8 measure would sound like this. Or 6, whatever. But this is a 12-8 that's totally uh, freaking weird. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, I got more videos coming up and uh, check out my other videos and thank you to Music and Arts for uh, my studio and I uh, had a lot of fun and go play your drums. Okay, bye.